This is the award winning song. This song actually shot episode into what we call the award fame. You understand me? Because in, in 2016, in 2016 episode picked the best reggae dancehall artist of the year. You understand me? With this particular song here. You see me? And trust me, everything was all right. It was all full joy. Now, let me give the man them some small, you know, recap in terms of the VGMs. You understand mm. me? Pertaining to episode picking up the award. Now, his first nomination was in 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, it was grippy. He did not, you know, pick it. And then 2019. And then 2020. And then 2021 with Wahala Day, he won the reggae artist, the reggae dancehall artist of the year. Easy. Now, DJ Buddy. Dada. This is how I, I want us to start the whole conversation. You understand yeah, me? Yeah. You know, we know you already. Definitely. Yeah, we know who you are, what you've been doing. You are the best performer in Ghana so far. Mm. You understand me? Yeah, man. So, um, you are the best performer in Ghana so far. Yeah. And all of us know about it. You understand? Yeah. And it's a fact. Yeah, man. But how do you see the industry now? Um, I think we're growing. We're going in the space where, um, you know, because of how the world is going right now, we get to see what what Sizzla is doing, what Beyonce is doing. Mm -hmm. So, in our little small corner, we try to match up with those standards. And mm -hmm. for me, it's it's a big step. You know, social media has made everything quite easy. But, mm -hmm. same way, I think um, I have the, a little problem is, mm -hmm. is I feel like the kind of energy we put towards negative stuff if we're able to channel the same energy towards positive stuff in this industry will actually reach far mm -hmm. you know um yeah basically that's it all right mm. you, you you feel like the energy we channel towards negative stuff. negative stuff is yeah. is kind of huge crazy no no but by, by serious you, yeah. you, you you know gone already <laughs> if you want to train right now mm. It's, it's like you go shirtless and show your you boxes go and <laughs> <laughs> pantyless <laughs> and immediately you step on the road mm. in, in number one trending on twitter in the next five minutes you'll be trending number or one you, or when you're dead <laughs> or when you're dead yes that's what you, you understand me yeah listen when when sonny bali passed on yeah i saw a lot of industry people posting him I know, and right? all that kind of thing and i'm like why don't you post ourselves now exactly like exactly. as in when when we are alive and all that yeah but they wait for you to you know you know go and then they give you 24 hours training on twitter jesus christ Easy. <laughs> but happy yeah let's look at this mm. in terms of the award schemes yeah. you understand me you are an artist yeah you are you are you know one of the hard-working mm. reggae dancer artists i know in ghana if thanks with your creativity and you know your your music and all that even your performance yeah the kind of energy you put into your performance and all that is 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 amazing give thanks you understand me yeah but how how, how do the people of ghana see you <laughs> um i would say that we're getting there we're getting to actually appreciate um artists who are not like everybody mm -hmm. uh, i'm saying that because i'm 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 not the only one you know we mm -hmm part few years back is just people who have hit songs mm -hmm. but now you would have um unique artists artists who are not like a-list artists but mm -hmm. then they can still fail an auditorium big up or lassie and and, and a few mm -hmm. you know so for me it's they haven't gotten to that vibe yet for them to understand the kind of thing we do but still can say that i don't appreciate the love and support over these years mm -hmm. you get what i mean it's mm -hmm. been it's been crazy and then um i thank everybody because the journey has been wicked okay the journey has been wicked now talking about the same award schemes in terms of um reggae dance is that you know episode song yeah play something let me hear no 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 where um and say on my yeah man 
I don't know. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, God. Everything is all right. You know, we are trying to make sure that everything will step back online and all that. Mm -hmm. Trust me. We'll fix it up and all that. Um, can you kind of off it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, let's talk about the award schemes, you understand me, once again. Yeah, man. Um, let's look at 2016, when you were nominated. Yeah. You didn't pick it. Yeah. 2019, 2020. I think if it, before I've, 2016 was from 2014, actually. 2014? Yeah. Um, all right. On some category, yes. I think uh, so. All right. Yeah. So, looking at all this categories, mm. this year, yeah. you know, everybody, you know, I have the view that because you didn't pick it this year, mm. because looking at the works you put in last year yeah. against this particular year, yeah. I think episode deserve the reggae artist, <laughs> uh, uh, the reggae dance hall artist of the year. Definitely. Because um, looking at the project you put across mm. with this artist and all that kind of thing, yeah. at, at least, you know, the media came to, you know, kind of cover it up and all that kind of exactly. thing. We echo it on the radio and all that. People... Yeah. Well, the view that, yeah, why not? Episode deserve that. Yeah. But, but you know, again, mm -hmm. a lot of people asking fans and all that kind of thing. And I, I want us to look at this critically. Critical. Yeah. When you, in terms of our songs, mm. I think last year or la last, last two years, yeah. Adina, yeah, man. pick it up. Yeah. Adina is a non-reggae artist. artist. Exactly. You understand me? Exactly. But, He's a, she's a versatile artist, so she did some reggae. Yeah. And boom, you understand me? Yeah. I don't know what this kind of non-reggae artist put in <laughs> for them to get that particular, you know, push. Yeah. That at the end of the day, you know, they, they grab awards over the heads of real mm. reggae dancehall artists. Yeah. Um, I think I think first and foremost, we need to look at one the people actually represent us when it comes to these boards. Mm -hmm. You know, um, big up the people who are there. But if uh, there's a proper survey into our space, mm -hmm. we'll get to understand that there are different artists who have dropped records mm -hmm. who are not like super big, mm -hmm. but then they, 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 they have defended Reagan dance all over the years and then they need to be there. Now, another thing, too, that we're looking at is because it's an award scheme, you're looking at votes. Mm -hmm. So as much as episode might have a big song, if votes come in and then there's another song from another artist who is not a reggae artist, but it happens to have a reggae song, and then the song is played, and they get nominated, and then it happens that they have to vote, and they vote too much, then definitely they're going to win. You get what I mean? So... For me, it's, 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 it's because it's an award scheme, mm -hmm. you're looking at votes. You're looking Definitely. at the visibility of the song. Yeah. You get me? But, but the question is, yeah. um, this year, yeah. Kiddy picked the reggae dance yeah, song, song of the year. year. With the song <laughs> Touch It. You understand me? Uh, sometimes I, I, I kind of wonder that they, you know, they kind of force this non-reggae dancehall artist mm. put into their craft or mm. put into their songs. And mm. at the end of the day, it's kind of surpassed almost every song no legacy we, mm -hmm. we need to blame ourselves as the reggae dancer artists too sometimes that we don't we put can, in enough work exactly exactly okay, okay. We can we can't just say that because um they are not reggae dancer artists mm -hmm. they happen to do a song and then it picks mm -hmm. what happens is they are able to promote it project the song into different space mm -hmm. where people get to love it Mm -hmm. You can't deny the fact that Touches was one of the biggest songs over the world. Definitely. You get what I mean? Definitely. Even though it doesn't really have 100% dancehall vibe in there. Definitely. He he was able to touch on some vibe, some dancehall melodies, and then that worked for him. Mm -hmm. You know, so once another war scheme, I think there's there's always a criteria where these people get to use to choose um, which particular song gets in there. But if they're able also, also able to broaden their scope in, in searching for different artists who have also done reggae and dance or under the year of review, then I think that would have more competition in there and will be able to top these things rather than opening it up for non-reggae dancer artists to always yeah. be there. So we should also blame ourselves for not promoting our songs well. Wow. We, the reggae artists, should also um, 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 blame ourselves. Yes. yes. Wow. 
Seriously, ladies and gentlemen in the place, <laughs> you know, and, it's, and it's and DJ I, Buddy. He also, if I, should, me. if yeah. I should add this, mm -hmm. I think um, one of the problems too is because there's always a merger of reggae and dance or under one specific category mm -hmm. we are not able to have different artists and then to flat that space mm -hmm. but believe you me there are different artists who specifically do reggae and they don't do dance or big up the likes of kochoko legend and big up um you know the the conquerors the kojo kombolos, kojo kombolos mm -hmm. and then the, um, the xylos and and all these artists mm -hmm. you know black rasters and and mm -hmm. them they get to do proper mm -hmm. reggae Mm -hmm. so if there's um a category just to appreciate these artists and mm -hmm. then you have the mixture of some of us who get to cross over from reggae to dance or mm -hmm. then we can have like you know more people dominate this space but if always it's reggae dance or it will be limited mm -hmm. you know so yeah I, I think there should be a consideration if there is um afrobeat if afrobeat has a specific category in there there should be a category for reggae and then also for dance or all right, so um, seriously, uh, people on the live, please share share the live. If you're on the live, share it. Share it, man. You understand me? Yeah. And what episode is saying, if it's making sense, let us know. If it's not, let us know. You understand <laughs> me? Because at the end of the day, this is our industry. Definitely. We must project it and we must lift it up to a higher height. Definitely. Because if we don't, if we don't do that, then it means that we need to go sit somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And take a chill pill. Yeah. You understand me? But we can't stop too, you know. Of Black course, Aziz. of course. And I and I think that um that energy that all of us used to put in five years ago for mm -hmm. dancehall to be like the number one song in Ghana, mm. we all need to use that same thing. You know, I would I would be you very You mean happy. it's no more again? That energy is no um, more again? It is, but it's not as vibrant as it used to be, mm -hmm. you know, because there has been so many factors. There have been artists running from dance artists to go do Afro B because, yes, we have to eat, though. <laughs> it's work. We have to eat <laughs> and we have to be yeah. com commercialized like the work. Boys are but hungry. Definitely. Yeah. We need to eat. But then again, if we were able to move it from just the ghettos to 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 the corporate side mm -hmm. and to be feeling stadiums, mm -hmm. then I think we should have pushed it extra. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Post it extra. It's just that we, the artists, sometimes also are inferior about some of these things and we, we tend to fight ourselves rather than having a united front to push a particular agenda. You, you, know? you and, and, and if you look into the industry, mm. um, how do you see our unity status? In order. We don't like ourselves, yes. I mean, I don't have friends in the industry. You know, in order. So it's one man player. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, you know, episodes say you know get friend for the industry inside. <laughs> it's sad though. Yeah. It's sad. You, you know, so so it means that you you don't have any artists that maybe when something happened, like you can call and say, yo, let's do this, let's do that. You know? Um I have family in the industry and then I say family because it goes beyond just um colleagues. Okay. You know, but if to say I have a friend in the industry, no. It's because I feel like people on my People I grew up with, with in this industry sometimes mm -hmm. don't get to see a bigger picture. When I discuss stuff with them, they mm -hmm. don't get to see, you know, far. Mm -hmm. You know, we are always content about what is happening today. Mm -hmm. So you come up with an idea, discuss it with a friend who you think is going to work and bring food to all of you. And then some of them will be like, yo, what do you mean? You all know, right. you want to take my space and this and really. Yeah. So it's, it's rather unfortunate that I had to step back and, you know, build my thing and just, okay. just move. All right, so um, Revival Lamte says, boldly said, it's just heartbreaking seeing only few pull through for just dance or reggae is father. All right? You have a point. You understand me? You have yeah. a point. But um, one thing that people were, you know, a, a few people step on my toes mm. that ask episode about it. Mm. You understand me? Um This year, when Stoneboy picked the reggae um, dance or artist of the year, yeah, everybody was like, um, I saw a lot of posts that oh, now the reggae the dancehall artist of the year has come back to factory resetting and, <laughs> and all those kind of you know you, you know things. Yeah, you know, comment like that and mm. looking at what Stone Boy is doing. You yeah. understand me? Yeah. I've seen a couple of festivals that he's yeah. on and all that kind yeah. of thing. Pair the works and all that. Mm. You know, do you think what people are saying mm. can be or will be the truth in terms of he is going to pick? 
the reggae dancer artist like forever because of his works. Nah, nah, it would it wouldn't happen like that. You okay. know, big up Stone Boy. I was one of the people. I think when they were um awarding that night mm -hmm. when they mentioned i didn't even notice the camera was on me and you know there was that joy <laughs> that smile on my face and people actually called to my attention some few yeah. um weeks after but guess what you know we need to applaud stone boy he's doing an amazing job definitely you know all of us would wish to mm -hmm. be in that space mm -hmm. where we get to tour the world and ex um, spread what we're doing definitely so even if i didn't win it i can also say stone boy worked more than i did let's face fact definitely you know let's fix fact mm -hmm. but not to say that it's going to be here forever no definitely we will go there would be new artists to spring off and take this thing to a different level definitely you know there used to be uh, uh, um the Saminis. Definitely. You know, years back. Yeah. And then we have the Black Prophets. And Definitely. then we have the um, General Marcos and all of that. Definitely. Stoneboy came and then some of us also came. Definitely. And we have the new ones like the Larusos and all of that. So Definitely. it will change. It's just a matter of we, the other artists, trying to also have that kind of opportunity and push our works to a level where, you know, there will, there will be nobody to say anything against it when we're winning. You wow. know, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, exactly 29 minutes going into the art night. Exactly 10 p.m. we are out of here. You understand me? Mm. When I know time to waste. <laughs> now, 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 it, it look like my thing, my, my music kind of thing. You can't play been, it. You, you understand me? So, you know, um, episode, I, yeah. I will leave everything to you now mm. because I can't play any song now. Wow. So, so, so I'll leave everything to you now and then you, show me, play. <laughs> you, you show me what you got. You All understand right. me? Right. Yeah. So, so this, mm -hmm. this, uh, these are my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Um, um, let me introduce this to the world. Mm -hmm. um, a different side of episode. You get to see mm -hmm. this from today. Right. So let me just move to that side. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, episode is moving to the other side. Um, known as, you know, his girlfriends. You yeah, understand me? <laughs> yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So now epi episode is in control right now. You understand me? If you
<laughs> different settings, different settings. So, ladies and gentlemen, this episode in the building right now. It's FA 103.9. He, he's brought all his gadgets over here, and trust me, it's, it's a live performance thing in the studio right now. So, episode, if you're ready, let's kick it once again. Yeah, man. It's FA 103.9. It's At long last, the battle has ended. Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. Live music episode. It's FA 103.9. It's FA 103.9. It's FA 103.9. So this is where I get to perform this song, but. No man. All right. Yeah. Plenty questions, no answer. How come with the selly contract? Biggie lifestyle, small paper. You make it celebrity, the shop for counter. Yeah. We get eyes but can't see. Bribery and corruption. Our leaders is taking but don't give. So make a ask, in Kuma, where you there? No be you talk to your beloved country is free forever. In Lagazia acts, in Kuma, where you day? You know, be you talk, say the beloved country is free forever. Oh. And everybody from you know what to sing this part, right? Let's go. Ah, what they happen? While I did. I say, what they happen? While I did. We're live looping this now. Ah, what they happen? While I did. I say, what they happen? While I did. And why the money day? Listen, Monday morning, Monday suffer. Just to eat some bread and butter. Hey, things they spoil, we know they bother them. They use four million dollars just for soccer. Cause big man go taking cash. This kind of things I know they bar. Hey, they say the year of return, it be like the white man for colonials we are gay before we wise up. But welcome to Ghana. When you see Koti, it be back for saying for Roger. The church is tiny piece in the center Sell the sticker to protect me by the preacher Get the bouncer Make a axe Where them day Our missing children Where them day The Takradi girls so Where them day Me I'm not afraid to send Kuma where you day You know be you talk Say the beloved country is free forever Yeah yeah Mandela where you day Talk say your beloved country is free forever. Life in the studios of Hit FM, everybody sing the part sound. Ah, what they happen? While I did. I say what they happen? While I did. Where the money go? Problems after problem, too many talent, but tell me who will support them. You promised my people one day shit one for G, yet we never see them. Plenty million branding bars, but you call a boo, they treat people like trash. 
ECG or PDS, they tell me who I go pay money to before I get a light. To the job city, but leaders are paid in dollar. Duty so high, boost they run for the border. Hey, music, you know they get to my They give my money to them, but still how they suffer. Go kill me, go kill Ghana man. Don't come to the ghetto, come back. But the youth are tired with the lies and the fake promises. In Kruman, where you there? You know, be you talk, say your beloved country is free forever. Yeah, yeah. Mandela, where you there? You know, be you talk, say your beloved country is free forever. And everybody, if you home, listen this lesson. <laughs> While I did, I said, What they are big? While I did, and then I went to my city. At long last, the battle has ended. Ghana, your beloved country, yeah, give me the is free man. forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> now, yeah. now, now, let's do what here. Yeah. yeah, let's do what here. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is all right in the place. Episode DJ, buddy, trust me. Oh, God, everything is all right in the place. It was a live, you know, performance in the studio. 40 minutes got into the art nine mm. here on Hits 103.9 FM. My name is King Legacy, one on one with, uh, oh, God, DJ, buddy. What episode? Reggae Dance Hall Artist of the Year 2016. I, I, um, 2021. 2021. Sorry, I beg your pardon. You understand me? Now, let's talk about... Are, are you going to do a tier live? Uh, no. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but, but we're going to do a day live. Oh, oh, day she Once live. we dance all day, we're going to do a day All live. right, all right. So, somebody says round two, please. All right. <laughs> Reviver Lamte says round two, please. All right. So, because of our time, let's yeah. do a day she and yeah, come, back come back and wrap it up with... Okay. Um, Atia. Okay. You understand me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, episode in the house. Trust me, everything good and everything is all right. It's FA 103.9. All right. So, uh, God, everything good? Yeah, man. Everything is all right? Yeah, man. I'm talking about the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess we are the mark of the motherfucking beast. Wanting me eat. Coward! You know what ramp with the raptures? Them gone to bomber clad far now, man. Fire upon them raptures! Life in the studio is episode. Life. Playing everything live in the studio. You understand me? Episode live. Can I add some bass to it? Add bass, add bass. Episode in a billion. Oh, there she. Life in a studio. Ready now. We're ready. Ready now. We left the iron out of the cage From a day we took a nap and me never wake Me and no lord and none of the same Run up your mouth by your full plate Who say you want it on? Be a mad people where me come from Murder them and them grandson Them philosophy and the one and only the last time Life's down dirty No more kill your kid never never bet it to them know me in the future, so them never rate me I could let me now, like, but go near my face Go away Oh, try me to burn it, try me to teach you, you're dead, she Go away 
the fate in your baby, like as he tell them yo, eh. Hey. Me the nine, no show pity, you born up. Yo, eh. If fate in your baby, me clock 19, pass it them face. Me the break flip like a book page. See the blows be like a toothpaste Watch out the body shape Go be trying with them legs Me am still locking on them face Me the bread flip like a book page See the blows be like a toothpaste Live looping Universe Speed them up Time off is speed them out Them tries by the you so we fish them out Them lick a dirty bad mind need an antidote Like a Z yeah, we set them moving now Drive by when we pull up on the candy shop I'm like a walk, I'm a shwe Me J intercut Hit me what them dead, we go fit him Like the interpop Squeeze and clock the magic finally See we don't them easily, no referee None of them all of them can murder me Them say, them father me, but them not act like family Put me in them in a cage, me I go show them how me do it Them a brack about them sick Then them to the pharmacy See them don't match the magic like say I be a lad in Take them up to suck a trick Them a have Jimmy Jimmy but me say no don't shut up, bust them belly like yo. Eh. Oh, Tommy took me in the trantichi, yo, there she yo. Eh. If a Dio bear me, sing it again, again, yo. Eh. Yes, the nine no show pity, yo, banu, yo. Eh. If a Dio bear me, me clock 19, busting on them face. Me black like a book page. See the blows be like a toothpaste Watch out the body shake or be drawn with them legs Me MC still locking on them face Brain flip like a book page See the blows be like a toothpaste It's been amazing to hit your fam But if you know this one sing with me no man Eight gun but we on track And a fat joe so we not go link back Tell them say them not go see we did Them can't see like I see dead or riding One if a lot turn back Help no wife him try if he be like I can tell them say them nah Like I see sound say them nah Alright again we sing again and now We change color See we change color Change color to the enemy Avatar we change color Like I see you change color Change it to the enemy Alright again we change color Different color to anybody we no like we Nobody try disrespect And that me tell them in the man We tell them cha Originator in other place Episode they are and I kick it in other face Yo, Lagasy like tell them we can run the place Like them know this, alright Badder than them, badder than them Anywhere we come, we tougher than them, tougher than them Now we drop the really murder them We murder them and make me show them how the thing go Alright, it's single like Medaration, 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 medaration Alright again Medaration, medaration up to the chorus, everybody, what you say? Go away. Life in living color, you don't know how the thing goes. You know, my name is episode. And keep it simple, you don't know. Big up black as you see anyway. It's the last thing I know. <laughs> DJ Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy, crazy in the place. Ladies and gentlemen, yo. It's FA 103.9. Oh, God. <laughs> now, wonderful performance. Give thanks. He brought his gadgets into the studio, fixed up everything. Boom. We shut it. You know? And, and this is the kind of thing, or this is the kind of artist we are looking at. You understand me? Yeah. And Ghana, Ghana should look into such artists. But the painful aspect is, the painful aspect is when you come as a reggae artist, it me it means that you must you must turn back or nobody <laughs> wants to look in your way. You know, uh, yo, you know, it's about time, man. Gonna look into this episode. Then Let's I... talk about Atia. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk the about the magic Atia. the magic song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the magic song right now. You know. Yeah. So I I premiered it last week. Yeah. If you talk of Atia, mm. where from that concept, you understand me? So, um, first and foremost, um, the whole idea is to bring back the old, old um, reggae mm -hmm. or raga mm -hmm. type of style that um, used to be very relevant, you know, in, 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 in the early 2000s in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, where you can also go without mentioning few names like the Ronnie Coaches and, and you know, the Sonny Bally's and, 
Marcus Garvey, the pre-keys and the Saminis. You know, so it was just me trying to, you know, bring bring back that old vibe. And that's how come Atian was 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 born. Um originally, I think the song the whole song was built on just one line. And um I had the whole idea from listening to I think a Barry's Hammond song. So the bass line kicked me and I was like, yo, the only vibe that came in my mind was like I tell you I don't go be fast, eh? I go. You know, and that's how come um, I was able to go to the studio, link up with Gomez, and boom, the magic work. And today, the biggest reggae song this year, without apology, they know it. <laughs> the biggest reggae song this year, without apology. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, trust me. Um. It's, it's, it's good to have such, yeah. you know, things and such kind of thoughts mm. and all that kind of thing. And if, if I may know, yeah. before putting pen to paper, yeah. I know if if I watch all your videos, sometimes I'm kind of privileged, mm. you know, to watch the videos at home, you know, <laughs> relax, drinking, yeah. sipping something <laughs> and watching, like, watching, viewing it. And I'm like, I'll be like, seriously, if this video is to hit our screens, yeah. the kind of the technicalities and the creativity yeah. involved, yeah. I, I don't see any other video that can match up to that. Definitely. But, you know, I, I think um the VGM is, right? Yeah, VGM is. Yeah, you know, looking at, <laughs> you know, uh, um, um music video of the year. Yeah. You know, tell me the <laughs> gut truth, man. No. No, they know. Um, no, tell me the gut truth. Yeah. If, if somebody, okay, if somebody might say vote, fine. Yeah. But yeah. when it comes to the technicalities, definitely. You see, sometimes we we, we are killing our artists, you yeah. know, we are killing our stars and yeah, all that. That's true. That's true. You understand me? That's true. So so Ghana, please look into some of these things. <laughs> and I know that a song like Atia will come with another <laughs> crazy Wick, concept. Yo, wicked. <laughs> oh, yo, <ja. laughs> Yeah. So so it's out on all the guitar platforms, right? Yes, the song is out. The song is out. Um, doing uh, amazing. Big up everybody who is supporting the artists supporting. Stoneboy posted it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sako they did endorse it. Mm -hmm. Um, Kwabna Kwabna did A plus. It's been crazy. Like I've got artists hitting my DMs just to congratulate me, and I really appreciate that love and the support. Um, let's make it a big one. You know? All right. So so has many of the big artists step in your DM and say, yo. Let's let's do a remix, or, or I would like to be on it. Nah, nah. I've had recommendations on Twitter actually of which artist has to be on the remix. I okay, think. but um, let them enjoy the original first. <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> we might take them by surprise. Maybe the remix will be our life. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yo! Yeah. Let's enjoy it. When we come back, we will wrap it up with DJ Buddy. You understand? Because a nigga yeah. put you already in that building and we don't want to waste no time. Easy. Atia. Okay, so as I have an episode over here, yeah. introduce the song whilst I play it. All right, right now. First time. No, man. Second time. Second but time. <laughs> second time. Second time. <laughs> second time. And the biggest time right mm. now. You're locked down on the only baddest station right now is, yo, it's 103.9 and the maddest. DJ on the play this right now is Ken Lagazi. So, yo. When exactly should we expect the video? Um, you know? In a few weeks. In a few weeks. Actually, I'm dropping um, a live version of the song featuring mm -hmm. the all female band. I don't know if you heard of them. They're only females. Okay. In Ghana here. In Ghana and, here. Yeah, they're called all Lipstick. Female. Yeah, Lipstick Band. Lipstick. So, we have um, a live session of the song. We're, we're dropping that visuals first before we drop the original. Wow. Of, of show video. It, yeah. Are we going to have something like acoustic or something? Definitely. You, like, there's a whole package <laughs> when it comes to this one. We have different renditions. Wow. You know, which all the videos are ready. So we'll just be rolling it out week after week. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. All right. So aside this particular um, mm. song over here, yeah. what again is in the future line for episode? Um, we're doing, we're going back to continue our East African tour later this year. Mm -hmm. Um, probably some, yeah. Um, and then also I'm actually dropping one EP this year. Okay. Three albums ready already, you know? Oh, okay. We're ready, but we're dropping, we're dropping the 69925 album. Wow. 69925. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not good for radio though. But yeah, we're... 69925. <laughs> And I know the girls will love it. You know, so we're dropping that that later this year before sixty nine nine two five. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
And I know when the girls hear it, they'll stop listening to Dexter now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is a Ghanaian version of Dexter now. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So... The girls need to stop listening to the cranium, you know, the desktop, the massacre. Yeah, we have a massacre. local. Yeah, you understand me? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we have a home base. We don't say Thank local. You. Home base. Home base. Yes. Home yes, base. Yes. I can't wait. Yeah. You understand that, me? me? But make sure that you, 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 um, we should have radio versions also. Oh, yeah. You have the radio version. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but we will enjoy the, of course, the raw of, version. Of course. <laughs> I will enjoy the raw version at, at home, home. <laughs> <laughs> and do my things with it. You understand me? Yeah. <laughs> 69925. Yeah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> my name is King Lagazi. Yes, Epi, before I leave you, mm. your word of advice to your colleagues. Um, first and foremost, the, I, the, I. The industry look rough. <laughs> I'm I not know. gonna lie to you. I know, it's very it rough. rough. It, very, mm-hmm. very rough. But um, as we still day and still representing reggae and dance, so I think we need to, you know. Brand our thing well so that the call branding, will, yes, branding, yes, you branding. I said, Walking, hey, I saw me can't see me anti Rasta. Oh, no, I saw me can't. Rasta is different from business, okay. You get what I mean? That's and this is this is work, this is what is going to put food on our table, definitely. So if we want to take it to the world, mm-hmm. yo, sis likes dress, sis likes wearing sneakers right now, you know, sis <laughs> likes looking cute, wearing all that. One of the one of the sweetest Rastas in Ghana is Kuju Kumbulu. Say it. Say it. The man go fin knock you some sneaker with you. <laughs> you know, some, so some kind of combination. You know, that your mind will go go to Rich Rasta. Yo, you know. So all I'm trying you. to say is, um, mm-hmm. from this side, if we're mm-hmm. trying to match it to the world, mm-hmm. there has to be some some certain class. Definitely. So we need to actually package our things well so mm-hmm. that we can meet the world standard. And then to the upcoming ones, um, I think you should just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Originality. Because mm-hmm. I always say that there can only be one Bob Marley. There's only one Ken Lagazi. So definitely. definitely, there has to be one episode. Definitely. So if you're growing and then you're aspiring to be one, even though you have mentors like we, definitely. you should also try, you know, fix yourself and stay original. Definitely. And yo, let's keep moving. Don't support just me. Support every artist that you feel like is good. And let's push the work forward. All right, Epi. I'd like to say thank you so much for your time and space. Thanks. Very good bad boys in the building. Definitely. And, and sorry also because we should have... I know, I know, yeah, I, know man, I know, I know. But due to technicality, I know, but at least they had a feel of it. Oh, of, so, course, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. Even, even though I wish I could have enjoyed it for, you yeah, know, yeah. but we give thanks. Give thanks we give you. thanks for you coming to episode. Yes, yes, yeah, man. Yeah, man.